Good morning, traders. Asian and Australian indexes are looking to open uh, pretty much flat after the lead-in from Wall Street. Another really light news day. Uh, traders are cautious ahead of uh, the, the CPI figures tonight out of the US. Um, there was hawkish rhetoric as well by uh, a slew of ECB governors and a couple of Fed guys. There's also um, the US debt limit negotiations which are ongoing, which are overhanging uh, risk uh, appetite in the market. Dow Jones was down about 0.17%. NASDAQ was the worst performer after uh, being the best the last few days anyway, down around 0.63%. Um, now, central bank speakers overnight had the ECB struck a, a hawkish tone regarding the pace of rate hikes um, from them and also the stubbornness of inflation. Um, from the Fed, we had Williams pushing back against a rate cut this year, which the market is pricing in. Um, and the Fed is prepared to raise rates again if needed. Uh, not really what the bulls wanted to hear, so adding another headwind to risk assets there. In FX markets, US dollar was stronger on the session. Uh, dollar index pushing through its resistance at 101.65, hit a higher 101.83 before it pulled back slightly. Um, had a couple of pretty quiet sessions news-wise, so uh, look for some volatility tonight on those CPI figures. Uh, Euro was down on the session despite the uh, hawkish ECB rhetoric. Um, it fell below the 110, the psychological 110 level to a low of around 109.42. Found a bit of support there at a FIB level at around 109.65. Um, the Euro wasn't helped either by a report from ING that uh, looking at CFTC data, the Euro is the most overbought currency in the G10, which certainly would be a, a keeping traders cautious about getting long uh, in the short term anyway. Uh, cyclical currencies were little changed. Pound, uh, Canadian dollar, flat versus the US dollar. The Aussie underperformed after the federal budget was released. Uh, so this saw the, the Aussie Kiwi fall further below that, uh, that, that big 107 level, settling at around 106.63. Commodities, gold, Despite US dollar strength, pushed ground higher again, um, had some initial resistance at its 50% retracement from those high to low in May uh, for pushing through and holding. So looking good there, but inflation figures will, will be a real test to see if that, can, that rally can continue. Crude oil had a, a quite a volatile session, with the, the USO USD starting on the back foot uh, after three straight days of gains on, on reports at Chinese crude imports had uh, declined in April, but there was some strength later in the session as um, some reports about Russian oil output cuts came in. And also uh, the big news of the US looking to refill their strategic petroleum reserve once uh, some maintenance is done on that. So uh, today's economic announcements, now things have been pretty quiet last couple of days, but that's, that's really gonna kick off tonight with the US CPI. Um, the rates markets are split about what the Fed's gonna do next, about 77% of a whole 23 of a, of a hike. So uh, if these figures come well outside expected range, you could expect some real volatility as, as the markets reprice those odds.